Muskegon city leaders approved their largest housing development since the 1980s this week, opening the gate for new condos, townhouses, and beach homes. All new tonight, the developer speaks one-on-one -on -one with us, laying out what you can expect as they transform an historic part of Muskegon. We told you about the plans for the Docks residential development last December. The multi-million dollar project met some pushback from Beachwood Bluffton residents. As Marvis Herring reports, that did not block approval. Marvis? And the Sands Product Corp Corporation did make some changes before Muskegon City Commissioners approved the final plan. It's the former site of Pigeon Hill, but the developer says it sat idle since mining stopped there in 1965, and it was time to change that. This was the former Bluffton school site. But this arena near Wilcox and Waterworks will transform into the entrance for the docks development. So people don't have to worry about this dune just being blown out. No, not at all. In fact, all the trees that are coming out are done. So that's as open as it will be. Scott Musselman, CFO of Sand Products Corporation, walked up the soon to be entryway with me, explaining they'll dig the lowest point deeper to make for a more gradual hill. Whew. Once at the top, he explained the newly approved plan. The biggest change was the way we're connecting our marina basin to the water. You'll find the marina basin on the south end, 65 townhomes surrounding that. There's 30 condos up for grabs and 145 lots open for anyone to build, though SPC has to approve each design, big or small. The water will come all the way back to about this low point out here where you see the green grass growing. There's no shortage of natural beauty out here. Even this massive pile of branches adds some character to the space. We've learned about 25% of this entire property will remain untouched. What about the natural space? Well, we're going to leave as much as we possibly can. All of this area, all this high ridge dune area, the opening right here for the road is the only part that's going to be touched. So in total, out of the 80 acres, approximately 23 are not going to be developed. But you may not see deer roaming and turtles enjoying sandy shade like we did today. Beachwood Bluffton residents we spoke with as this project sprouted into reality worried about added traffic, crumbling narrow roads, and interrupting their Muskegon Lake tranquility. Musselman says it was a small group making a big splash of noise, but they don't have to worry. Uh, obviously, 240 homes is going to add additional traffic. What the study says is the roads are capable of handling it. There was concern about congestion if the docks shared a Muskegon Lake channel with Harbor Town, so SPC decided to build its own. They hope to have lots on the market by the end of 2020.